here in Lititz, PA, right down the street from the old Wilbur Chocolate Factory, sits a little store called the Savory Gourmet. And on the surface, it may seem like an ordinary shop, but take a closer look and you'll come upon a collection of curious cuisine. So we sell exotic meats, everything from alligator to yak, and everything in between. And then we have cheeses from all over the world, all different styles of cheeses. Bill and Missy McMahon worked diligently seven days a week to serve their customers, but it wasn't always this way. The store has been here for 12 years in Lidditz, and uh, Miss and I, my wife, were frequent customers of the store. I come home from work one day, and my wife said to me, uh, what do you think, Bill, should we, uh, the Savory Gourmet, I got an email today, is for sale. Do you want to buy it? And I gave her a very firm and quick no. Not interested, I have a job, I don't have time for it. And she said, I think we should at least go in and speak to John. And I said, okay, that's fine. So we went in and went over some numbers with John. And I still wasn't convinced. I, I said, I don't know if I'm ready for the retail life seven days a week, long hours, I'm not sure if I want to do it. However, she said the magic words, which were, if we don't buy it and someone else does, how will we feel? And I said, I would be devastated. Um, so that drove my decision and her decision to really pursue it seriously. It was a big transition. Um, we had never sold retail before. And um, there were a lot of little learning curves. And Lidditz is a great community. And the other store owners are more than happy to share their ideas and their you know, ins and outs of how they do things. I think the biggest preparation for uh, selling and talking about any of the meats is actually cooking them yourself. The chefs have given us clues, given us ideas. We go on a lot of websites and learn how to cook the meats. And then we've tasted everything in the case. And so I can tell you what python tastes like. I can tell you how to cook a yak steak and what pan I used and what spices. So I think the ability that we have is to try everything to pass along what, what little tips we found. Now that the Savory Gourmet is back on its feet, the McMahons strive to supply not just a product, but also an experience. Like I said, we love a personal connection and we can tell a story. We, you know, we have the picture of our granddaughter in Ireland picking cheese with Bill um, in Dublin. So wherever we go, we look for cheese and we look to make the connection. And when, we, when someone comes into the store, we like to share that with them. You know, we'll tell them the story of being at the Cashel Farm. We'll tell them the story of being in Spain and going to the market and seeing different manchegos and, you know, how we said, okay, this is the manchego we want to carry. Anyone can sell meat. Anyone can sell cheese. We sell that personalized passion. When people walk in, it's not just what kind of cheese do you want, it's more of an interaction of have you ever tried this kind of cheese or have you ever tried a, a beautiful goat cheese. And we, we also, one of the changes we put in was a sample case where we can sample every single cheese that we sell. So that's the difference between uh, going to a chain store where you're buying it, not knowing if you like it. Here, we're encouraging people to sample. I'll, I'll have people that'll come in and sample 20 different cheeses. And in some cases, they'll buy 15 different cheeses. Bill and Missy McMahon carry on the legacy of Savory Gourmet by providing customers a unique environment and unique products that are too good not to dig into. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Ethan Miller.